Hey, it's Ed here again, and um, I'm just going to take you through, see what this can do a bit. I'll make um, uh, an apology now for how this will turn out. I've got no idea how it's going to turn out. We're just going to have a bit of a mess around, really, and, and uh, look at what we've looked at the detail of, of what the redrum can do and um, see how we can put that into action. I've, I've loaded up a, um, a, a patch, just a, a standard sort of rock kit, uh, that's available in the uh, patch library that comes with Reason Essentials. Um, we'll start off with the floor drum and uh, just give it, put a few beats in there and play around with the pitch of that a bit. Um, the levels, they're probably all right where they are. Just take that off to the left a bit. Um, I'll just close up, minimize that so we can see that underneath there we, we have a, a scream unit, distortion unit, and a reverb unit in there, uh, which we've patched into Send 1 and Send 2. Uh, if you remember the last time in Session 4 we talked about the uh, effects sends that were available to us. Um, just quickly looking around the back, they are patched in. I'm not going into the detail of how that's done in this session. That's for a future session on, on um, using the mixer and the effects units themselves. So opening back up the, the redrum, we can see that the, the distortion unit is um, patched in on send one and the uh, reverb unit is patched in on send two. So we can just take a basic floor drum, add a bit of distortion to it and a bit of reverb to it. And okay, let's move on and add something else in here. What have we got? Again, let's just take that away from the ordinary a bit. And take, play around with the tone and the velocity on that tone. Let's take the tone up a bit, give it a bit of a high end filter. Okay. And I have no idea what I'm doing here, but um, we'll see how it sounds at the end. We'll turn, turn it down a bit while we're putting this together. Um, looking around the back then about the, the gated outputs and inputs, uh, we have those three drums working now. If you'll notice, this one, drum six, is being picked up, and it's being picked up in time with drum three. Yet, if we look at the sequencer on drum six, there's nothing highlighted in here. Now that's because it's patched up to be getting its feed from elsewhere. Now, if I, I'll flip it round and, and show you what we've done, we've taken an output gated output from drum 3 and taking it into the gated input on drum 6. So what's happening there is is that um, when drum 3 is triggered by the sequencer that in itself then automatically triggers drum 6 through the gated input. Now normally you wouldn't necessarily patch it up like that but it, what you would normally do is you might want to take the gated output to control something else so when drum 3 is triggered you might want to control something on a synthesizer for example or similarly um, you might want to use the matrix sequencer or, or some other device um, to send a gated input to trigger drum 6 uh, so I, I've just set it up like that so that, so that you can see what the, the gated output and in, input can do um, while we're around the back, we can also bring in control voltage from, say, a synthesizer into the pitch control voltage in um, at this point here. And what that would do if we had it patched up would be to be able to vary this pitch, and that pitch could vary along with, uh, you know, as time progresses through a piece of music, we can vary the pitch of a, a particular sample that's patched into one of our drums 
um, and have, have some interesting effects by by varying the, the pitch through that uh, control voltage pitch input here. Okay, let's um, add a few more drums to the mix. Drum four. Distortion, a bit of reverb, take that off to the right a bit. Um, I think that's too heavy in the mix, so I'll take the level of that down a bit. And take the pitch of it up a bit. Okay. What else have we got here? Like a crash sort of symbol. Let's. Um, Okay, we've already got drum six coming in, patched in from drum three. Um, let's leave that one as a hi hat. So, take the level of those up a bit. So. Okay. Okay. And now we've got a bit of a groove going. That <laughs> sounds terrible. Um, I've added the shuffle. To that it doesn't work in this beat. Let's get back to where we were. Um, quite often, if you set something up with, in, in one way and then you, you, you try and put a bit of swing to it, it, it didn't work in that case. But um, let's just leave it at that. Um, and that's pretty much the redrum in all its components. I hope you've. Uh, got a fairly comprehensive tour of what it can do and, and how it does it. Um, if you've got any comments, leave them below. If you don't think I've covered anything that I should have done, let me know and um, we will move on to another machine uh, device in the next set of tutorials. I hope you enjoy that. Please leave some feedback and, and tell me how it's, uh, how it's helping you or not, as the case may be. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon.